Sarcastic piece of poop. Nah, nah, nah. All right, so. All right. Just gonna put that away because being able to see yourself can be very distracting. So. What the hell are you doing, thing? All right, stop live monitoring for a second. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I think you heard the massive noise. Okay, well, you do that. Uh, let me just, just turn the gain up on here. Because it's turn, too much noise. Turn the gain up. That turn way, the game up. Turning 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 the game up. Turn the, the game, game up. up. Turn the game. Everybody's coming to the party. <laughs> Have a real good time. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you, uh... Mm, where's the hood? Where's the hood? Where's the hood at? Where's the hood? Where's the hood? Where's the hood at? Where's the hood? Where's the hood? Where's the hood at? The hood? The hood at? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ain't no... I'm sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Greg. And in case you haven't noticed, we might be nerds, dorks, no. geeks, nope. losers. Nope. Well, whatever you self-identify as, Greg, is not my problem. Because we are on Secret Nerdcast. Yep. No one knows we're doing this. That's why it's a secret. Yep. Top so, secret. <laughs> top is the toppest of secrets. Top secret. Not even CSI. Yeah, the CSI. most on top. Please. Yeah, the CSIs yeah. couldn't figure us. NCIS, none yeah, of that. Nobody. So... Today, I just wanted to uh, introduce myself and my friend, and Greg, Yeah. you watch TV. Yep. I watch TV. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Quite a bit. Thank you. Uh -huh. I, am, I find it to be a wonderful release, uh, an escape. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have cable. Do you have cable? You do have cable. Don't answer that question. So. Everybody has cable. No one has cable. Everybody has internet. All right. Yeah, everybody has internet. So, I have uh, Amazon Prime, and on there, there's a wonderful show. Allow me to lay the premise down for you. A conspiracy theorist is after a megalomaniacal villain who has murdered his father, runs across an extremely strong man with memory loss, mm -hmm. as well as a, uh, an assassin, mm -hmm. his sister, and a multitude of regular people who become a support structure. He takes on what could be a shadowy organization as well as an underground where people are constantly vying for dominance against rival gangs, leaders, and uh, let's say other things. Other things, yeah. Mm. Now, there's history, uh, starting with the Tunguska incident, mm -hmm. the uh, massive meteorite explosion in uh, Russia. Like, uh, over a hundred years ago. Okay. And, uh, a very, very prominent figure awesome. plays into it, and an assassination attempt on him. Now, does this sound like there's a lot of intrigue and mystery and things going on? Yeah. Yeah, there's what if lot, I sounds like a lot going on. Yeah, what if I told you that it was also hilarious? That's a plus. That's a plus. And what if I told you it was the tick? Ah... Uh... <laughs> Yes. The Tick is absolutely fantastic. I cannot... It is written so much better than it deserves to be. Well, it okay. Is, I gotta say, I have not watched 
the Amazon version. I always talk to the cartoon version that was on Fox Kids. What about the live one with Patrick Warburton that they played on Fox late at night? Oh, no. Oh, God. That one was... Yeah, that was... I've, no. I don't really remember seeing, like, a handful of episodes when it was new. I don't even And it was not good. good. Oh, I don't even think it lasted a season. I think it was... It lasted one if season I remember correctly, seasons. it was, like, 2003, 2005. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Because yeah. this was back when... Because you and I would have been, like, 9, 10 years old when the cartoon came out. Yeah. And then later on, the uh, live action came out on Fox. And, of yeah. course, that didn't last very long. And, of course... Back then, what what year that? It was like what, 2008 or nine or something like that. It, it was it, it was, was mid two thousand. Yeah, it was sometime after the actual like cartoon version came out, and I just remember watching the, car- the commercials to the live action one on Fox, and I just remember I was like, I'm not gonna watch that. I mean, <laughs> I really, oh, I really do like Patrick Warburton and uh-huh. a lot of stuff. He was yeah. hilarious on Seinfeld. He was yeah. great. In, he's great in Venture Brothers. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he, he does so many things. Oh, yeah. He does so many things. But that live action one, I don't even think that his dry charisma could carry it. I think my favorite with him was when he was, um, what was his name? Kronk on... Um, oh, yeah. On um, Emperor's New Group. Yep. <laughs> the, the funniest part about Patrick Warburton is people hire him for his voice and his delivery. Yeah. And he does that exclusively yeah so you could literally just like make a super cuts of just like everything he's ever said yeah and put it on anything else he's ever done yeah and it would just be amazing Hilarious. like um what those people used to do with oh what was it uh avery oh the guy that played uncle phil yep yeah um on fresh prince of bel-air he was also the voice of shredder for the um Teenage Mutant Ninja yeah. Turtles animated series. So whenever they did the supercuts and they got Shredder, like ah, pillowy mounds of <laughs> mashed potatoes, <laughs> you're just dying. Yeah, it's hilarious. so stupid. It's it's so funny. funny. But some people are like some, I don't know, it's kind of off track and everything. But that's how like most voice actors, like they get famous for their voices, man. Yes, they do. They do. So, is there a show that uh, you've seen recently that you want to talk about? You kind of put me in a spot there. I, I kind of did. Yeah. Ugh, man. It's all right. I can talk about another. Well, let's talk about another one. Final Space. Oh. Because I, like. It, is that good? It is very good. It flew under my radar for the longest time. Uh-huh. And then I was just like, I've got a day to kill. And I just binged, like, the entire first season. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I want This is a show I do want to talk about that you, you were watching like not too long ago but I had got sucked into it too the um the show that the uh, creators from Adventure Time did oh Bravest Warrior yeah oh, that man. was a good show that is it's you it's look random. at it and you're like oh it's for kids and then yeah. he goes no no, no. It's there's not some things kids. they say there's some situations they say yeah there's it, some things they get no. into and you're just like hmm no. it's hmm. like I was going to teach him how to ride a 10-speed. It's a bitch in 10-speed. I saw it in the closet. <laughs> Did he just say bitch? I know, right? It's like, I'm pretty sure I heard, I heard him drop the F-bomb. Yeah. Um, and and you're like, like, whoa. This is not the... Yeah. And I found that another thing, too. Like, not only did um, Adventure Time, the creators from Adventure Time did that, also the creators from regular show did the same thing, too. They did a oh, more adult thing. Yeah, the um, the one that's coming out on TBS. Yeah, that one is I more adult I don't know thing. what that one's called, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't remember what it is either. It's, and the thing is, I've seen it advertised last year, and it, I have yet to see it out on TBS yet. Well, animation is a lengthy process, even yeah. though from the looks of that, they were basically done. Yeah, they were pretty much done with the first season, at least. Yeah. So either, I don't know, they just taking their time with it, or... Maybe it just kind of got dropped. I don't know. But it was pretty freaking awesome. I don't know. Maybe they were putting out promos and then trying to uh, gauge people's responses to see mm-hmm. if they actually wanted to continue and release it. Yeah. But honestly, if you watch the Cartoon Network regular show, mm-hmm. there's some, like, they try to hide the fact that it was more adult theme. Oh, game. God, The yes. fact they were, like, still drinking, they were drinking soda, like, people drink beer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's parties and everything, you know, and stuff like that. You can tell there's some adult undertones in it. Uh, the one thing that comes to mind specifically, like if you switch out like whatever cans they're drinking with beer, yeah, yeah. Uh, was that one where uh, 
they were getting ready to grab uh, Rigby was getting ready to graduate, and he went yeah. on the road trip. Yeah. To like this place real far away, the only place where you can get that stuff because it only comes out like once a year. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, it's a seasonal brew. Yep. <laughs> it's a seasonal brew. That's so, what it is. And then I went with the hot sauce and everything, just replace it with some kind of psychedelic like. Oh yeah. Drug or something like that. When you start playing um, Mississippi Queen. See, <laughs> that's that's the thing about that stuff, is like, it's slightly genius because yeah. you have to hide it and move it around and uh, keep it from yeah. from people being like, those people are totally getting high. Yeah. But to a point where <laughs> the kids are like, he ate so much hot sauce, he's insane now. Yeah. Yeah. When See? you gotta work around what the sensors will let you get away with, yeah. that's what makes it better. Just like Ren and Stimpy, they were constantly yep. pushing the boundaries, but then once they got on Spike, it was like, yeah, it was all it, game. It was man. just like, uh, bleh. yeah. And it's like some people need that box to yep. work inside of. Yeah, and that's what it is and everything. And that's why I kind of figured that most creators, they went from Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and everything, they go on to do versions of their cartoon and adult theme. Yeah. So. And I, I like to see that more. Like, imagine like, what else? Steven Universe is an adult theme. Steven Universe. That would be like. I don't. You know. Because they they already have like the uh, the gems dancing together, yeah. and it's like, is this <laughs> sexual tension? Yeah. What the? What is this? Yeah. Because so it's like women and everything. Yeah. So, so it's like the ne the only next logical step is just straight up. Yeah. yeah, which I don't mind the whole cartoon like undertone themes because all the adults are like watching like ah uh, I get it, but the kids yeah. are like this is fun. So it's like both worlds. It's kind of like uh, working together, getting close to people. Love is love, kind of thing. Yeah, but it's I don't. Uh, that's probably just reading too much into it, which is fine. Oh, I mean, people always read into everything. Yeah, it's just the people that get upset. It's yep. like, well, just watch it like it's a show then. Yeah. That's what it is. It's like it's not like it's teaching you. It's like, oh man, I watched the show. Oh, damn it, Greg! <laughs> I'm accidentally gay now. Oh my god. Oh, uh. sucks. <laughs> man, now I gotta go get better clothes. I know. Gay right? dudes like pretty people. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. it's it's not like that. If you watch the show like it's a show, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Um, I would like to move on to a movie that I'm excited for seeing. Hey, stop it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's a movie called um, Happy Time Murders. Oh. Because I grew up, I loved the Muppets, and I heard yep. I heard somebody say something the other day uh, about the Muppets being a uh, used up property yep. that's become overly commercialized. They're like, last good Muppets movie happened before the 90s. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. If you just like a, yeah. a fun romp with colorful characters yeah. that are also happen to have people's hands inside them, exactly. then you're okay. Uh, but Happy Time Murders is hilarious. And I want to say I thought it was going to be a game. No. And then it turned into a, a movie. movie. Yeah. Because I, I think the first time I heard about it was in a Game Informer or an IGN oh. article. Yeah. So. If you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it. Watch that trailer. Yeah. Watch it and laugh. It's laughable. It is very laughable. As a matter of fact, when it comes out, we want to see it. And I, we probably could do a review on that, too. I will definitely be so on board with seeing that movie. Yeah. Because, like, it's the Muppets also had moments where they were, like, going a little towards the risque. Yeah. And, they had, and then somebody had to pull them back. Yeah. And you were like, I know what they wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what makes it funnier. Yeah. It's... It's oh, makes it, it makes it so funnier. And then this time, it's just like all out this time. So it's Yeah, like, it's all out, and that could be a good or a bad thing. I mean, they are still stuck with, like, you know, making it for audiences. So yeah. It could be rated R, and mm -hmm. God forbid it will eventually be PG-13. Oh, yeah. Because there's that trend that I still don't understand. Oh, that's something else I need to get into. Horror movies being PG-13, all comedies being rated R. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I've realized that you're trying to get all that money. Then why aren't you doing that with comedies? Because half of them, they're like, the R rating is just completely superfluous mm -hmm. because it's just people swearing and then somebody shows their tits. Yeah. And you're just like, 
Uh, what did you say? I read, funny? I read an article they were considering redoing the ratings on movies. They were thinking about raising the PG-13 to PG-17. Well, what PG-15. The, what's the... What's the mm, okay. Yeah. And then just well, making it the PG more wide, like wider brand or wider range. Well, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, rated R is 17 and older. Yeah. Or no persons under 17. I forget yeah. how they worded. I forget how I worded it. And PG 13 only came about because they didn't have anything in between parental guided suggestion. Yep. And rated R. Yeah. So, it was um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm-hmm. Or no, or it was Temple of Doom. One of the Indiana Jones. Ones. One of the Indiana Jones. They pushed the envelope of like, well, this isn't R rated, <laughs> but what? it's definitely sc- too scary for your five year old. Yeah. Kind of thing. I think it yeah. might have been uh, Temple of Doom. Call him Ma. Oh yeah. <laughs> Call him Ma. Anyway. Call him Ma. Yeah. So. How much Ma? Yeah. So they introduced like this middle ground, and they're yeah. like PG thirteen. And yep. Steven Spielberg was like, damn it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yep. But I guess they're getting ready to change it again when they, like, I guess because, you know, most movies, because when, last time when you think about, like, think of a movie that's rated PG. See. What, that's good? Uh, um, uh just, anything by Toy anything from Pixar is going to be PG. Yeah. And DreamWorks. Yeah, DreamWorks. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and look at how much they got away with on, um, like, Shrek. Oh, yeah. That's... Shrek was with a, what, PG? Yeah. Yeah. No, Well, none of that stuff was ever PG-13. No. But it never stopped them. They just had their box to work around in. Yeah. You know, they were like, they were like, eh, I'm just going to push this boundary a little bit. Yeah. And then pull it back. Yep. And people were like, ah, mm, mm-hmm. okay. All right. It worked. Yep. I mean... I mean, the Rage G movies, that's like... Rated Very. G is basically just like that's you might as well just have a cup of milk. Yeah, because you're seven. <laughs> yeah, because it's like you can't really go to anything to see Pixar because everything is unless it's. Like, I think Finding Nemo was G. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. So okay, and maybe um, maybe Cars, the first one. Yeah, first one was rated G. Oh no, wait, it because there was that line. Yeah, it's either G or PG because he goes. He goes, I'm in hillbilly hell. Oh, yeah. And I was like, mm, they got their one. I think that yeah, made it P. Yeah, that made that, that gave P. the little P. Yeah. It went, I'm in hillbilly hell. Ping. <laughs> P right there. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, and then, you know, PG-13, it's like he might got a, a side boob or something. Well, sometimes some it thing. could just be, you know, occasional swearing or too much. A lot of action will yeah. make something PG-13. Yeah, a lot of action. Like. It's like. You could probably do like a supercuts of like um, what's the most bloodless action movie you can think of? The newer Total Recall. Yeah, newer Total Recall. That's Robocop. Transformers. Bro- no, whoa, whoa. Oh, the new Robocop. Yeah. I was like, you no, and I are talking no, about very no, different movies. No, no, the new Robocop. The new Robocop. Yeah, not the old one because that one. But even then, I don't think that the old Robocop was even rated like PG thirteen. It but, was R. Yeah. It was oh. a hard R. Oh, man. Man. Because there was, like, limbs and spit and oh, blood like... and ass flying <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. I know. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. So, Greg. All right. We talked about violence. Uh, you know, you've been playing a violent video game recently. Mm-hmm. PUBG. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure a lot of y'all have been playing that. Yeah, PUBG. I, I've never played it. I played Fortnite. Uh-huh. And I was not too impressed. It's like I could see That's how people get into it. That's what it is. A lot, like I said, like I said to you earlier before we start recording, Fortnite is more for like the younger kids because it's mm-hmm. more colorful. It's more like, like woo, yay, ah, like that. Yeah. And PUBG is more like, it's more serious. It's the graphics okay. are more serious, more realistic, and everything. So I can. I play PUBG and I love it. I have a handful of questions. You play both, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Now on Fortnite, uh, it feels like some people start off with like a really ridiculous advantage. Oh yeah. And I'm just sitting here going, what's going on? And 
some people take like a million hits to die, and it feels like you don't take that many. Yeah. Is am, am I just just you could tell me I'm terrible at this game. I'll believe oh, yeah. you. But uh, it it's just it, it's not that fun no. when it's like it'll last like a minute and a half, and that whole minute is spent like running around looking for a gun and then getting killed. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, but Fortnite, that's the reason why I, um, gosh, it's a, several things. Keep talking. Um, Fortnite is, oh man, how can I explain it? The whole, like, level up thing, because PUBG, the only thing you level up is maybe your clothes and some attributes and everything. Uh-huh. But with Fortnite, you can, like, literally go off the, like, Straight off the bat, just like all kinds of stuff and everything. Okay. Yeah. So, and, I mean, I see a lot of people with like, um, you know how you have that pickaxe. Yeah. And I see a lot of people with like, like giant crystal death saber looking things. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I know. Like, is that what is Yeah, that? that's the reason why I always need to get to Fortnite and everything. Fortnite, you get, you, you know, Fantasy weapons and everything, while PUBG is like all realistic weapons. Okay. Like you know scars and. Which one came out first? Honestly, I don't know. Tell us. There's a lot of. uh, Tell us. (laughs) Yeah, please comment. Yes. Um, because I've I've noticed there's like a a trend where people are just making the same games over and over, Mm -hmm. occasionally. Yeah. Uh, because there was what Overwatch, then there was Battleborn. And now there's Paladins. Yep. And they're all like... They're all pretty much the same. I've not played any of them, but they all look to be identical. Yeah. And a lot of people have said, that's ah, just that, but different. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same, like, objective or same kind of gameplay. It just looks different. It's like the same game with different skins. Yeah, yeah. and, I mean, you got, um... Yeah, Battlefront. We're... Yeah. Um... Oh, What's that one game? Uh, the Star- it was Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. And then there was uh, Battlefield. Yeah. They were like, it's like, huh, did you ever want to play Battlefield? <laughs> but with Star Wars. Yep. Huh, ah. we've got you. Don't yep. worry. Is it made from the same people? It, I don't know. I don't know. Either. But it feels like it. Yeah, it feels like it. Which, yeah. by the way, two new games I'm looking forward to. Well, one new game I'm looking forward to is the new battlefield game which one uh it's the one there in world war ii this time instead of world war one uh-huh. yeah so hmm. that's gonna be pretty cool because you get to fly a split fire <laughs> get to fly a spit fire spit fire you said oh man i tried to say what you said and i messed it up ah. you get to fly a split fire is yeah. what you said uh, yeah. uh, whatever split fire could be cool i yeah. like it in contra <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. So that's the most recent game you played. No, what I haven't played it yet. But was PUBG. I'm, oh yeah, yep. yeah. What game you recently played? I've been I've been working my way through Mega Man X on the uh, Super Nintendo Classic. Ah, go back to the classics. Yeah. Mmm. How's that so far? It's good. It's hard. No. I started playing um, Super Ghouls and Ghost, or is it Super Ghouls and Goblins? Super Ghouls and Ghost. Yeah. And, um, man, that's a hard game. <laughs> <laughs> but is it different than when you played when it you were younger? It is so stiff. So stiff? It's so stiff. I didn't, I didn't ever play that game when I was younger. Oh. Um, I, I think there was an arcade machine that had, like, a bunch of, like, old, old games that you could, like, pump quarters into. It's like, it was like Kiwi Craze mm-hmm. or uh, whatever it was called. Uh, New Zealand Story, I think is what it is in the arcades. Okay. And stuff like that. So, I got to play a lot of that stuff. And, I, I mean, I like that stuff, but uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts is not like a great arcade game. No. Because you are gonna die a lot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And... Quite a lot. Yeah. So... I mean, I kind of miss arcades. I do too. Like going to the mall, go yeah. to the arcade, change your, get your allowance, trade all in for game tokens. That's 
yeah. DDR. D- <laughs> I, I played DDR twice, and yeah. I was okay. It's a yeah. rhythm game. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, I was stuck on a lot on like the Tekken games. The Tekken like, games. Yeah. Oh, and Soul Calibur. So, oh, yeah. Dude, I want them to make a new Soul Calibur game right now. I know. It's been it's been years since the last one, and I cannot stand the Apprentice. Mm. Darth Vader's Apprentice. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. But so, but I just want I just want a new game. It's like it's it's been so long. Come on. Huh? Huh? It's been a whole generation. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Because by the time I got a PS3, mm-hmm. Soul Calibur, what was that? Five. Yeah. Five was one of the first games I bought. Yep. It was either five or six. And we played a snot out of it. Yeah, and you want to know how much that game cost? How much? It was four dollars when I bought it. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Oh man. And like, sh- shoot, I don't, I don't even remember how long ago that was. I know. I just know that my PS3 doesn't work anymore. I know. I remember when um, it was before they became Soul Calibur. It was Soul Blade for PS1. I think they only had one game that was called Soul Blade. Yeah, that's the one I had. Okay. But that was. We played it. Me and my brother played that game for hours on end. How many times we played it? We got to like we played like we played fifty matches one time in a row. Yeah, in a row, in nonstop, row. like nonstop. Um, like, were y'all using the same characters every single time, or was it a rule like no, you've got to change characters every, every match? We did. We tried doing that, but it always ends up being the same people over and over again. Cervantes and Valdo. No, it was Cervantes, and I had Sonina. So, what? The one with the... Songnima? Was it Songnima? I think it's Songnima. I think so. Yeah, Songnima. Yeah. She's, um... I think she's the one with the shaft. The, uh... (laughs) The The (laughs) halberd? Yeah. Uh, no, fuck. Yeah, because it was... Talim had the uh, little Tonka blade. Yeah. I think there was... And who's the one with the, uh, the nunchucks? The nunchucks? Yeah. Maxi? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So... The one with nunchucks. Like, you could ask me any Tekken character's name, and I'll be like, uh, there's a guy with a lion for a head. <laughs> oh, Rock. Rock? Yeah. The oh, big yeah. Old axe. Yeah, Rock. Oh, and um, the one with the big-ass sword, too. Uh, what, Nightmare or Siegfried? Siegfried. Yeah. Yep. Because Siegfried is Nightmare. Yeah. Because that's after he got the... So could never believe. Yeah, after he got this, he was like, <laughs> "So, somebody was um, talking about that the other day. They're like, did you ever hear about Siegfried's story? No. No. They didn't really care. No. And I was like, because Siegfried looked dull as dishwater. Yeah. So, it's like Siegfried, um, his dad went off to war, and he and his buddy started the gang that killed people that were deserting from the army. Yeah. And then one day, like, a bunch of people came back, and they thought they were deserters, and they killed them. Oh, and look at that. Turns out his dad was in there. And he killed his dad. So he's like, no, I can't take it. Boom! Amnesia. Oh, and he goes, he goes, I will find the man who killed my dad. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so he's like, I need the soul blade. The soul blade will tell me who killed my father. And then it's like he gets yeah. it and he figures it out and he turns into Nightmare or something. Else. Yeah, I remember that. He's like, I will give anything to find out who did it. And it was like... All right, ha ha ha! It was you. That's ah! funny too, because I remember that. Because in Soul Blade, he becomes Nightmare, but you don't get to play him as Nightmare. But in Soul Calibur, you get to play him as Nightmare. Which doesn't make any sense to me. You get to see him as Nightmare. Yeah, because it's like, okay, is he now suddenly a different person? Yeah. Okay. That's what he is. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. Nope. No. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, whatever. I'm sure some of y'all are screaming at the screen. Yes, right please now. scream. Y'all are screaming at the screen. It's like, what about Mr. Zumi? Oh, Mr. Zumi, Mr. Mitsurugi. Yes, <laughs> Yoshi Mitsu. Yo, Yoshi Mitsu too. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I love this. But like all the fighting games out there, yeah. it's weird that Soul Calibur was like. It's kind of. It's nowhere close to as popular as Street Fighter or Tekken. Or Mortal Kombat. Or Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Or King of Fighters. No. Nope. Or Dead or Alive. No. Nope. <laughs> it's just a, it's, it's kind of like And there's the like oddball. six other ones that I 
completely don't know about. You must be a special person if you love Soul Calibur, like we are. Yeah, <laughs> we're special. Special. <laughs> My mommy told me so. <laughs> Everybody's special. Yeah, just just because you're special doesn't mean you're useful. I know, right? No. But yeah, Soul Calibur is like that, you know, off the beaten path fighting game. Yeah, it's not like yeah. Tekken. I, it felt like it had solid mechanics, or maybe yeah. they were just so sloppy that I could use them. Yeah. Because some of the other ones just feel like so tight. It's, yeah! it's not as technical as Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, but it's not as mash button as Tekken is. It's some, yeah, we have some Tekken kind of, is a button masher? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Tekken is like a mutt, For me, it's mutt button masher. Just, just Tekken like that. just looks... It's just... It, the whole, like... Soul Calibur, okay, fantasy setting. Yeah. All right. Everybody yeah. doesn't have to make sense. There's a lizard guy. Deal yeah. With it. Okay. Yeah. Tekken, it's like, does that guy have an owl for a head? Yeah. And that guy has like a leopard and like. And king. Oh my gosh, King. Yeah, oh, King. Why? A leopard man. And you're just wrestler. like, something about it just never really jived with me. It's like, it's either go completely absurd mm-hmm. or stay realistic looking. Yeah. That's which I guess if you went super realistic, you'd end up with like office fight simulator, <laughs> which would be awesome. And it's like Debbie from accounting, yeah, versus oh Kyle gosh. from accounts receivable. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Tekken. Don't get me wrong, I love Tekken. I play the I play the mess out of Tekken. I play it now if I wanted to, but when it comes to like like combos not can like combos is perfect because you just button mash and you just wail on them all day long okay but the Tekken and D, like the combinations like um well combat that gets pretty hard so well what's your favorite fighting game oh uh oh killer instinct get the front <laughs> killer instinct killer instinct is someone's favorite fighting game yeah so we shouldn't make too much fun of it but if that's your favorite fighting game, I don't like you. Oh. Um, I like... I like Shaq Soul Fu? Calibur. <laughs> as someone who owns Shaq Fu. <laughs> and someone who used to own Shaq Fu. <laughs> and somebody, you should feel ashamed. Oh my and god. And I should feel ashamed. Yeah, you should be ashamed. Because you currently have the game. Did, I showed you that video, right? Yeah. Where I plugged it into the Retron. Yeah. And the thing, the thing <laughs> popped up. I've never seen anything else. Yeah. It popped up with a big red screen with a big frowny face. <laughs> and it said, are you sure you want to play this game? Oh my god. And I was like, is this retro just... It's clowning on this guy right it's now. Clowning on that it. is awesome. Whenever you have a website just dedicated to destroying that game. Dude. I wonder how Shaquille O'Neal feels about it. I want to get him to sign my copy of Shaq Fu. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> my god. He'll probably shoot that thing. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably be like... No, not getting this back. But no, the thing, is, <laughs> what, the thing is, they're coming out a remake of the game. Shut the front door. Yes. It better be Shaquille O'Neal now, all out of shape and shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, nah, it's not. <laughs> and it better have. I'll tell you what, you know how the when you're playing Mortal Kombat, no. the little guy pops up and he goes, Toasty! Ah, you better yeah. have Charles Barkley come out of nowhere and he goes, Terrible. Oh! Because <laughs> they don't like each other right now. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That. That's you gotta say that you like that. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Uh, I like oh. it. That's funny. Good. <laughs> Good goes, one right there. You get hit, and he goes, Turb. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's terrible, right? But the, no, the thing is, uh, they changed the dynamics on it. It's not a fighting game, it's an adventure game. So, mm. yes. Oh, God of War with Shaquille O'Neal. What I always wanted. Ah, it's. Pretty amazing. Oh no, wait, God of War is not it's more like a hack and slash. Mm-hmm. What is a roving beat em up? Uh Shatterhand? God hand? Yeah. God hand? Yep, it's kinda like that. Yeah. It's kinda like that. Oh wait. It might be like <sighs> Jet Lee's um Oh, um Oh man. Oh Lord. What is that dude? If you had a time machine right now, yeah. you could answer your own question. Because you used to play the crap out of that game. I know. I love that game. Hero? It's something, something on it. In, yeah. Hey! hey. Moving on. <laughs> but no, really. What's your favorite no. game? 
My favorite fighting game is uh, I really liked the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games. Ah, yes. Um, the Naruto Ninja Storm games. Oh, yes. Uh, and Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Yeah. Yep. So it's it basically it all depends on kind of what you want to go with because Dra Dragon Ball Z kind of reminds me of like an older style. Oh, yeah. And then like. Um, Soul Calibur would be like right in the middle. Yeah. And then Naruto would be like, like, cause it's so, some of them are so um, free moving. Yeah. Like the, I think that was the Ultimate Ninja Storm. Yeah. Before that was Ultimate Ninja. Yeah. Um, Dragon those, Ball Z. those are like free moving and yeah. fighting two player in that can be a little odd looking. Yeah. I so, think the one, the hardest one that Dragon Ball Z came out was the Tenshi Universe one. Uh, I've never played that. Oh, uh, it's basically Wait, a- Tenshi Universe? It's a Tenshi universe. I mean, it could be, but it just makes me think of Tenshi Muyo. Oh, ha, do you remember ha, that show? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I watched that a lot. Just everyone like else was like, you of, uh, everyone went, Ini I was like, Tenshi Muyo, maybe. Mm, and they were like, no. no, nobody wants to see some awkward guy trying to live in a house full of women who also Ooh. has like alien powers. <laughs> I know. I remember playing that one that your loss. Yeah, I. I I know it's called Tenshi something, but it was a split screen fighting game. Tenkaichi. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I pulled a I pulled a brain muscle just now. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. It was a split screen fighting game, and the world was open, so you had to fight and find your opponent to fight. And like Raging Blast. Yeah. Okay. It's like, you know, it's so hard to fight in each other on a split screen fighting game. Yeah. It's like... It, so it's split screen fighting should be with... reserved for racing games. Yes. So, uh, little it, fun, little mini games, maybe. And, and as as much as I like, I get mad at some games because it's like, why why is this online multiplayer only when you could easily have couch multiplayer? Yeah, totally. There are certain games where couch multiplayer is way better. Yeah. It is like if you were if you were doing like a two person play of um, the first game that comes to my mind oddly enough is like uh, Uncharted yeah anything from Uncharted yeah or uh, Resident Evil Four or something like oh that. oh my gosh if that if that had two player where the other person could be Ashley yeah. for no reason because yeah. they just like getting kidnapped I don't know, I'm I like, just like the attention I'm anyway like also I'm sure everybody can agree with me. But I'm sure like, a lot of gamers and everything are starting to revert back to like the split screen and everything. Yeah, couch multiplayer. Yeah, because it's like, but it's stick with the small game, like the mini games and everything. Like, yeah. Like the, the big time games. Well, I mean, part of, like the mini games make sense because they're like, they're light and quick and fun. Mm -hmm. And why would you play those? Like when you're alone in your room and yeah. someone else is alone in their room, when you could be there and you could be like, "Oh, you piece of shit!" I know, right? While Luigi use an asshole, because <laughs> Mario Party is the only thing people play. No, yeah, <laughs> Mario Party, you know, the little fun party games and everything. You get a bunch of your friends together and you know sit on the couch and play those games. Cause you remember those days. Saturday oh yeah, Goldeneye all yeah. night long. Yeah. Oh shit. With a, uh, a can of soda. Ridge Racer. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, I only had a Nintendo 64. Uh, <laughs> so I never had a Nintendo 64. Uh, 1080 snowboarding. I, had, Man, I, went, I meant PS1. I went PlayStation. So uh huh. Okay. You, you diverted. Just yeah. Well, you. All, I can see you're all sitting there with open chest, just inviting a fist. So <laughs> don't tempt me. I know that if every time a saying, uh, saying gets close to death, he comes back stronger. That's the only reason I stop beating you up. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> eventually you're going to be a rival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, but like, um, what else had good like split screen multiplayer back in the day? Oh, man. Also, I feel as though like... Golden Eye. This, is, this, is, this conversation has gone everywhere. It's gone everywhere. It's yeah. kind of awesome. Yeah, it is. Gone everywhere. We we are gone broad spectrum, and plus this is our like what first episode is. Yeah, first episode. Yeah, man. So um, we'll have first topics. episode crushing it. Yeah, <laughs> crushing it, crushing uh, it. Yeah. Although I do think that uh, we we mentioned like two or three more split screen games, and then we should probably call it. Okay. Because because oh man, if I was wearing a watch, you know, you'd yeah, be taking the hint. It would. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
In conclusion. Yes, in conclusion. Yes. In what conclusion. is your conclusion? Ah, uh, this was a pretty good first episode. This was a great first episode. Yeah, so. This is the yardstick from which I will measure the rest of the episodes because they can only get less terrible. Just to let you know that this was like a last minute thing. We, we didn't really have anything. He so. was going to go fishing. And I'm still I am. Ha, ha, ha. I know. I kind of like the microphone being in the middle of the shot. It's creating a gay barrier. Keep yeah. your homosexuality off of me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and on that note. Ah, oh, Greg. We're going to end you this. You got to loosen up, man. We're going to end this. What are you talking about? You? What, what? Oh. Were you. Oh, were you about to spit pit poison at me? What's going on, no. Greg? No. What are you talking no. about? You. Hmm? Mine's not filled with coffee, by the way. My, uh, mine had a lot of coffee in it. It's down low. Mm. Anyway. I think it was the hazelnut creamer I didn't like. I'm going to end this episode. I'm Greg. <laughs> I'm Justin. We'll see you again next time. Greg, stop holding back, man. <sighs> you and I both know that you are way dorkier than you're trying to make yourself look right now. Yeah, see? Just because you got your pop culture shirt on. Man. Greg, I swear to God, <laughs> you cannot be making those judgments right now. Pork your pants out. Yeah. So everybody can see your shirt. So, oh, what, my Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtle shirt? Yeah. That I hate because I bought it on, like, the Wish app or something, and it looks like crap. You hide in the comments below whose shirt is better. Yeah, comment and subscribe. Yeah. Um, or don't. Or do. Or don't. Or don't. Reverse or do. You know what? Reverse psychology. <laughs> Double reverse psychology. Double, triple, quadruple. See, reverse. one person That's told like me. See, one person. 160,000 reverses. Yeah. See, look at that. One person tells you to do it. The other person tells you not to do it. So who are you going to listen to? I know, but which one of us is the devil on the shoulder and which one is the angel? Yeah. See. Because I don't really think that either one of us should be on people's shoulders. No. No. I said, well, I can't be. You can be? Yeah. Why? Because. Because why? I make great decisions. You make great... Look at my shirt! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I've... Okay. You completely blasted me with that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Good All job. Right. Yep. Good job. All right. I'm gone. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Hit the button, please.